thank you so much for coming to my channel today i'm going to do story time i'm going to try that out see how it works but please subscribe turn on the bell like share and comment i have more things on my channel reviews reactions food reviews product reviews and more so go ahead and turn on the bell and today we're going to do story time and hopefully this goes well okay so this happened like some years ago but there was a kickback being thrown for my daughter and one of her friends that had the same exact birthday they were like only like 13 i believe so um what ended up happening is they were all bored at the kickback. I do remember that. Everybody was bored at the kickback. And they were wanting to be a little grown. They just felt like it was just so babyish. Um, and so everybody was bored and complaining. Well, they were outside for a moment. And it was some little, you know, younger teenage boys. Like in the street and so a lot of people were outside in the street including me because i was watching you know watching my girls but just all the you know little teenagers <clears throat> so just suddenly while there's crowded street and stuff suddenly there was a quick argument and pow, pow, boom, like gunshots. Everybody's running for their dear life. Okay. I don't know if I'm right about this, but when I hear gunshots or when they're gunshots, I thought you're supposed to like lay it down get on the ground like lay down get low so that's what i do so i'm like laying in the street everybody else is like gone people trampling over me everybody else is like gone for real i hear my kids from the inside of the house um this is my daughter's friend's mother's house by the way so i hear my kid my kids from the house saying our mama is out there. Our mama is out there. And I'm saying to myself, don't come looking for me. And I'm just like praying and just on the ground. Still just gunshots, gunshots. So I'm laying on the ground. So I say to myself, okay, I don't want them coming out here looking for me. I'm going to try to make it into the house. But like every time I start running or walking or going toward the house, there are more gunshots. But I finally made it to the front of the front door. It was locked. I'm like, oh, God. They start shooting again. So I run to the back of the house. But then they start shooting again. So I lay on the ground. As I'm laying on the ground, I look behind me. And it was like one or two people. But this guy, like, walks up, and I watch him look at his gun and put it in his pocket or, like, in his pants. I'm like, oh, shit. So, I jump up a little quickly, and I say, you better just try to get into this house. Um, I go into the house. Through the back door. As I'm getting in, he's walking behind me. So, at that point, as he's walking behind me, I'm like, oh my God. But I just go in the door, go inside. I close the door, but as I'm closing it and getting ready to lock it, he wiggles it while it's in my hand, pushes it open. And I'm not going to lie, at that moment, I didn't know, I mean, what was I supposed to say or do? Like, really? So I'm just, like, nervous, and I'm, like, saying to myself, oh, my God. And then 
later on, you know, everybody kind of realized that there was a lot going on and that, and they were like, who was shooting and just all this foolishness. And one girl says, and she's a child, but I cursed her ass out because, you know, just don't. She says, and she let him in. But I didn't try to let anybody in. I mean, I'm not going to tell somebody who's got a gun that's been shooting it. Uh, you can't come in here. I saw you with the gun. Because I don't, you don't never, even though they were younger, that doesn't mean that you don't, I mean, you don't know what's going on in people's minds. But that was a big old mess. Um, you know, my kid did end up, end up having to go in for questioning. But like I told them, since nobody got hurt and it was just a lot of property damage, you know, holes in cars and holes and glass. I didn't, you know, I know all of those little young guys. I just felt like their parents needed to know that, you know, they have guns. They're messing with guns. But I didn't think that anybody needed to tell on any damn body or whatever. So everybody just shut the hell up. You know, just shut up. And, you know, their parents needed to know. Not, you know, police to lock them up. You know, you know what I'm saying? They're kids. But, so, none of, none of us told anything or anything. But, yeah, a lot of people were saying that. She let him in. She let the shooter in. <clears throat> she let the gunman in, but I really didn't. Um... Or did I? What do you guys think? And what would you have done? What do you do if you do hear gunshots? Was I right for laying on the ground? And then when I was trying to get into the back door and I had gotten in, even though my hand, I had just like pushed the door like about to close it, he was trying to come in and he was coming in. Was I supposed to say, hell no, you can't come in here. You had a gun and you were shooting it and I saw you. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? If you want me to do more story times, let me know down below. And what did you think about the story times? And tell me what you would have done. And have you ever been in a situation like that? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. And do come back.